Yo, yo, yo. Zang tipa ikatulo bazala ne yo. Yo. I wanted to citrus soda, so I had to go buy it. It takes it's a walking distance. And then Inje just getting there. Hey, my feet. Ingati, my feet have grown. Oh, it's because I haven't worn high heels in a long time. Hey. Hmm. Have you ever had uncomfortable shoes? That was, they felt like they're so tight. It's like they're literally grinding. Yo, I don't even know how to explain it. And then you ha you are sweating. Like, you know that little um, sweat nyana that feels like needles. Yo. Guys, it's like a ha ha. Yo. Yo, my poor feet. Yeah, shame. guys yo there's so much flesh gula phone that um i can't even look straight into ilona in a camp but anyways yeah um daddy went to buy milk stout a beer for us my sister said somebody at work had suggested it uguti ilona it helps with the pumping of milk because i need to pump more milk manja and we're gonna freeze it so I'm gonna try it, but mom, when my mom was doing also research, mom loves Google. So when my mom was busy with Google and YouTube, I'm breastfeeding baby. I love breastfeeding. Ugh. Anyways, um, when mom was doing research, uh, she found good see they said coconut water helps. So uh, I'm gonna try and find that. I know at least they have it, but I'm gonna try a P and pay, and then if they don't have it. Oh, I'm sorry guys I'm gonna go to Willie's and then I will give you guys feedback on the beer and also on the coconut water let me know what you use or what works for you I've just been drinking rooibos tea uh, but yeah I need to pump more so I need new ideas I'm coming So it tastes like a double shot espresso. It's not as bitter as your normal beer. Although I'm making that face, it, it caught me off guard. But it was nice. <laughs> if you love coffee or dark chocolate, I think you'll enjoy it. Yo, yo. I wanted to citrus soda, so I had to go buy it. It takes it's a walking distance. And then Inje just getting there. Hey, my feet. Ingati, my feet have grown. Oh, it's because I haven't worn high heels in a long time. Hey. Hmm. Have you ever had uncomfortable shoes? That was. They felt like they're so tight. It's like they're literally grinding. Yo, I don't even know how to explain it. And then you ha you are sweating. Like, you know that little um, 
sweat nyana that feels like needles yo guys zang tsipa ikatulo ha ha yo yo ah ah yo bezalwan ah ebo my poor feet yeah I'm so glad that I have clothes um, and shoes at my mom's house, but I left the least favorite shoes and whatnot. So um, let's see what I can wear so I can relieve myself from this pain. Okay, I chose this heel because it's a in bunch that block heel, and these these are River Islands, but they're very uncomfortable. So I don't want to wear something that's gonna remind me of the pain that I just had. So, I'm um, also I can wear these, but these outdoor thing is, yo, know, they're very uncomfortable now. So, you know. so for today I've had enough uh, suffering for one day. So I'm just gonna choose these, although they're old, but uh, they'll have to do. I could wear that, but also Mr. Price. That was from Mr. Price. Ah. So anyways, I figured let's cut to Lucy one. I can't find the other pair, so. I'm back to square one. Found these, but they're similar to uh, those shoes, so I'm not really in the mood. Also, again, I'm just gonna wear these. So, hi guys, I have composed myself, and now I can tell the story. So, what happened is I was wearing a a sharp point. Is it a sharp point? A nose watered. Yeah, it's a sharp point shoe. I'm gonna show it to you now and yo it felt felt like there were little needles in in my toes it felt like i was a size 10 uh, and i wore a cinderella shoe which is like a size 2 it felt it felt like when you leave your meat in the fridge and, and you think you're gonna eat it in the morning and when you wake up somebody had eaten uh, your food it felt like betrayal it felt like everything that's painful it felt like that so anyways like i couldn't walk yo but i'm composed now i've changed shoes and at this point i didn't even care Guti. um do they go with the outfit or not what what mattered is comfort so now um i hear people say oh, when you're pregnant your feet grow or they grow and whatnot and as if it's the truth or it's just me i'm not wearing long high heels during pregnancy but i did wear high heels but not i obviously wore block um heels mostly just for support and whatnot yeah but anyways welcome back to my channel my name is Zung Sile and we're still doing a vlogtober and today is a monday and if you are a prayer warrior please do pray for me because i've gone back to work and um yeah so my contract requires me Uguti, to be back so i'm only i only was booked by the doctor for six weeks and then afterwards had to come back then i text my sister ne, and i'm like yo i literally have to had to you know when you walk and you have to support yourself against something like hold something or push a trolley because your shoes are uncomfortable that's how um uncomfortable it felt and it felt like i had blisters and whatnot so i call my sister because i share things with her and then she laughs and then she just laughs and then i start laughing so i think that was gora too when i went to clicks and then when i had to, okay i see a traffic officer i'm just gonna lower this uh, okay anyways in the middle of nowhere I got distracted much also um 
when I realized it was one and then I had to go out to no one and then I'm like yo my feet have even like my toes have not recovered and I still have to go again yo Guys, before I forget, ne, these are the shoes. Look how cute they are. These are the shoes that showed me flames to them and had me uh, st uh, telling a story. And um, this pair, let me just do this. This is what they look like. And I also have like a similar pair to this, but it's white. So I'm about to take a bath. Um, I'm in the bathroom, so I'm sure there'll be an echo. But I want to say, with Sienna, I pumped a lot and I'm plunging. I didn't eat, I only ate old brain. And then I had a lunch bar and a lot of fluids. Like I had um, water and juice in between. So, but I was surprised because I could pump that much. So I'm not saying good to milk start, but we'll see. Um, if it works for like a week i will do a separate video just to address this but obviously i'm very much happy with the pumping i'm gonna pump later on today so i've already pumped for for Xasa. we um gonna put that in the freezer so i am not saying good yo but i didn't eat anything like i literally had all brands and I think I'm gonna eat. Not I think I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat manje at six o'clock. Okay, so I will call or shading. So it's only coming back at eight. So I don't know what are we gonna eat or prepare. But I just wanted to say that see, we don't know. We don't know if it's really milk stout or not. And remember I had this much of it. So but I'll keep you guys updated again and then we'll see okay? So hi guys, I am closing off the vlog and I really just want to say something that's very important with the um, drinking of milk stout does not promote drinking whilst breastfeeding or, or if you um, was dead and baby um, if you have a history of um, alcohol abuse or are struggling with alcohol then this video honestly isn't about that and not does it promote that it's just another way just to stimulate the production of milk and um, obviously I'd like people to consult with their pediatrician or their doctors before they can start anything so but otherwise thank you so much for joining I'll uh, we'll see you guys on the next vlog bye